Welcome back guys, thanks for joining me for another beer review. It's video uploads bonkers today. It's uh, uploaded to, oh yeah, I've done two beer reviews today already. Uh, then I've done sort of like a beer hall one. Just done one now, small can. We'll do another one. This will be my fifth video today. You could be doing your nutting. Anyway, right, what we are looking at is a new brewery to me. And it's one of the beers that I've uh, literally just picked up today. It come in the craft. Uh, the beer 52 craft box if you like uh, now they were a lot of the beers in there were massively out of date I would say quite they, they are massively out of date some not so bad but the box was cheap so obviously uh, beer 52 or sold them off to this place or whatever or given them to them or something I don't know but uh, what we are looking at is a beer from a new brewery to me which is Sailor's Grave Brewing. Never heard of them, and I can't see where they come from on the can. Da, 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 I'm trying to find it here. Australia. So it's an Australian beer. Uh, and what we are looking at is their Out Too Far Coastal Saltbush Hazy Pale Ale. It's coming in at 5%. Quite different artwork. Apologies for the glare. 330ml can. Uh, and basically, with the 12 beers and a, a snack coming in at £6, that's working out of 50 pence. So it's not expensive, but like I say, massively out of date. This is best before the 19th of the 11th, 21. So this is about 15, 16 months out of date. 12. Yeah, it's about 15, 16 months out of date. Uh, but we will see what we get. Uh, not a brewery I'd heard of, like I said. So let's get it cracked open. It's not massively cold either. Let's get it cracked open and see what we get. Yeah. And all these beers are lively because I got home about three hours ago, but they've just been sitting in the box and everything. So they're not really properly chilled. The one I've just done was a bit lively and burst its bolt. This is no different. But that could also be down to, you know, might not necessarily be down to the beer being out of date. It might be the fact that I've shaken it. It might be down to the fact that the beer is warm. So, beer in a glass. I mean, the head did form, but they're big bubbles that are just disappearing. But if you look at the beer, it actually looks a very thick sort of orange marmalade looking thing. Chicken stock, custard, whatever you want to call it. There's a few lumps and bumps in the bottom. Give it a swirl. I've got a feeling it's going to be one of them beers where the head goes. Maybe this one isn't going to be great for sort of being so far out of date, but we'll see. Mix and match head, orange marmalade looking beer, some lumps and bumps in the bottom. Uh, malted barley, malted wheat, malted oats, hops, water, yeast, coastal sea brush. Sea brush leaves. Yeah, oh, interesting. So we've got some of the sea in this. <laughs> but yeah, the head is going in quite rapidly. If I left that for 30 seconds, that would probably be gone. So that's not a good sign really for me. Anyway, looks pretty decent apart from that head going in. Let's have a sniff. Yeah. Again, this is one that it, it doesn't smell its best either. There's a funny smell in there. There is a slight hoppiness in there. There is a juiciness. <clears throat> it, again, like I say, is it because it's so far out of date? Or what does saltbush or salt, yeah, saltbush leaves taste or smell like? I don't know. I don't know, but it smells a bit different. Let's dive in. See what uh, Sailor's Grave Brewings not too far, coastal salt bush, hazy pale ale, tastes like a shit show, isn't it? Right, cheers. Okay, there's, there's again, there's, there's not a massive, a lot, massive amount going on in flavour. I've just reviewed a vocation beer that was even older than this. Uh, and although it wasn't bad, you could tell it was past its best for me. I think you can tell this is past its best, but we'll review it anyway. 
5.5. Body of the beer is quite decent. Very smooth and very soft. That has got to be said. Very smooth, very soft. The carbonation is uh, light, minimal in it. Beautiful mouthfeel. Taste-wise, it, it, it's, it's quite sort of thick and dense on taste. Mango, orange, citrus. It's all them sort of sweet sort of fruits in there for me. As maybe you could pin it down to a little bit of pineapple in the background as well. I wouldn't, you know, I ain't even got a clue what a salt bush leaf, leaves are, uh, to be honest. So I wouldn't know what they're supposed to taste like. Maybe I should have uh, done a bit of research. But to be honest, it's, it, it's a very nice tasting beer. Uh, and I could be totally wrong about the date on it and whether it's affecting it. I mean, some beers don't always hold or create a head. I mean, that's still sort of building it, still lacing the glass, but considering how far out of date it is, that's probably still doing a pretty decent job. And like I say, there's nothing nasty in there. There's no wateriness about this beer. There's nice flavors. It's got a nice sort of thick, dense flavor to it. The hoppy, you don't really get much of a hop taste. They fade over time. So you're probably losing a bit there with that. It feels more like a juice to a certain extent. 5.5%, there's no sign of any alcohol in this. Uh, it, it, it's almost smoothie-like, to be honest. I would love to try one of these fresh because there's nothing nasty in this now all right on the nose there there seemed like a bit of a funny smell on the nose but taste wise there's nothing nasty in there there's no bitterness it's quite sweet I'm, I'm imagining that if this was fresh it'd be a little bit more lively in the glass not massively uh, I don't think you'd have that maybe funny smell but again I could be wrong with that but I think it would certainly be a lot more hoppier it would certainly have more bitterness. Um, but yeah, I mean, considering it's well out of date and I've paid 50p for it, that's actually quite a nice drinking experience. So for me, the first beer from Sailor's Grave Brewing and they're Out Too Far, Coastal Saltbush Hazy Pale Ale. I like it, I like it. And, and that actually makes me want to try a fresh one. So it must be pretty decent. Uh, the fact that you know it's way out of date and I still want to try a fresh one but uh, yeah I think that's quite nice if you've had it before let me know what you think feel free to comment uh, like and share the video subscribe to the channel hope you've uh, all had a good weekend continue to enjoy your weekend and I'll see you again soon on another beer review cheers